there, you know, I figured he's just like some kooky right wing, you know, Republican. Uh huh. So I'm listening to the dude, and afterwards, like Beth is sitting next to me, and I didn't say anything, and then all of a sudden I went, uh, you know, I think I agreed with everything that dude just said. <laughs> and, and then she goes, I did too. Names are cute. I would prefer Ron Paul as president yeah. to Newt Gingrich. Yeah. No, I've, I've made it clear that uh, I admire Ron Paul. Uh, to take over America, but I'm with him on the IRS. I'm probably with him on abortion. I'm with him on marijuana. I'm kind of, you know, I'm kind of there on the Ron Paul side. Uh, that he's the only, I guess at the time he was a congressman, he's the only one who stood up for us about the FCC saying that they should have complete freedom on the radio. And, really? And he's for abolishing the FCC. Uh-oh. I, mean, I guy... just might have to vote Ron Paul. <laughs> I think what is interesting about Ron Paul is he has a solid and consistent following. Policy exactly. In terms of foreign policy, doing nothing like Ron Paul wants to do is better than doing bad stuff like our current president is doing. Um, so if I had a choice, I mean, I'm thrilled that Ron Paul is, picking, is catching up to Gingrich in Iowa. Hey, so he's clearly, I think it's right to call him more of a prophet than a power broker, because I don't think he's trying to uh, broker power as much as broker new ideas. So the ground. I don't know who to trust. I don't think I don't trust any of them. Ron Paul's the only guy I trust. Perfect timing. <laughs> How you so obviously Ron Paul fan. Yeah. Huge, yeah, huge Ron Paul fan. Oh! Honored. Oh! And what do you like? Honored to be on the show. What is what part of his platform do you like? Every single thing that comes out of his mouth, I go, yeah, yeah, finally. When he talks about the gold standard, when he talks about civil liberties, when he talks about everything he says, you know. Ron Paul 2012! Offense, because I think you're the one guy who has had this right from the very beginning. But, but like him. I was sitting around with some friends. We were all on Twitter talking about the last debate. And a lot of us said, oh, my gosh, Ron Paul is making sense to us. Uh, you know, I like Ron Paul. I think he's a cut from a different cloth than the rest of those people who are, of course, selling their souls to the corporate interests who back them and uh, who have just horrible society-killing ideas uh, about America and either don't know what's real or don't care. His quotes, whether the GOP establishment likes it or not, Ron Paul has the power to really shake things up if he wins Iowa. People in Iowa are rallying around someone who, for the first time in a long time, represents real change. Real change. And that has to scare the hell out of both parties.